So the past few months have been kind of an activity frenzy for Caroline as she's been thinking about what she wants to show here at London Fashion Week. Putting on a presentation at Fashion Week is a big undertaking. You have to organize a location, you have to find models, you have to find hair, you have to find makeup, you have to come up with a creative concept. That was the challenge that Caroline had in front of her. What we've said to Caroline is this is your show, it's your moment, it's your decision. We're just here to help you. And the BOF team really wants to, you know, give you the best opportunity possible to showcase your new collection. Uh, we're doing the hair and makeup test for Caroline's presentation, which is going to be tomorrow. There's quite a lot to get done last minute. I'm just here to help out if there's if anyone needs me. To help Caroline out, one of our jury members, Edison Chen, was really, really generous, and he sent over his producer, Norman, to kind of support Caroline. Edison immediately adored the works by Caroline Hu. So I'm here looking after her, make sure she's getting what she needs, so it's all in line there for her. And that's what I do here. <laughs> It's a mentality. You need to stop thinking about if it's made in China or not. The Chinese students or the Chinese creative need to put everything up to an international standard. They can be made everywhere, but it's the standard that you should be aiming for. If you're good, you're good everywhere. 对，就是你哪怕是别人觉得哦，你做完了，你永远都觉得还还可以再做点什么，就designer的那种。One of the locations that we had suggested to Caroline was to show at the Serpentine Gallery, which is one of the most famous art landmarks in London, right in the middle of Hyde Park. They are building the set. They have just loaded everything in. As far as I know, it's going to be an overnight view. It's going to be a long process. We're doing the overnight install for Caroline Hughes' presentation tomorrow. So we started off wanting to just have all these potted flowers. It's very important we don't use cut flowers, we use potted flowers. And then afterwards, we donate them to hospitals and schools and anyone that wants them, really. I managed to be put in touch with the guys uh, from the Royal Gardens to see if we could use everything from the park, the actual waste from the park, which they turned into compost. We've just borrowed a few tons of waste and we're just going to take it back to them and they compost it and they put it back onto the park. I've done lots of landscape sets before and they can be quite wasteful, so this is really nice. The night before the presentation, we had this little intimate dinner and introduced Caroline to a bunch of people. And I was so happy to see so many of those people come to show their support. Welcome everyone. We are so excited to be in the presence of this amazing young creative town. There's all of this creative talent bubbling in the, in the Chinese fashion industry that deserved global recognition. So we created this prize together with Wendy and you holdings in order to give a proper platform and recognition to creativity coming out of China. So thanks so much. And I hope you have a lovely, intimate dinner. <laughs>
What we advised Caroline was that it would be better for her to use a presentation format than go straight to a runway format. I think it enables a designer to stand there with their collection and answer the questions from the editors and buyers and other industry members that are coming through. And it also enables them to see the clothes up close. How are you feeling? Oh, yeah, I'm down. You're done? <laughs> but it took Exciting. a lot of work to get here. Tell, tell us a little bit about what you were thinking as you were conceiving of this collection and this presentation. Yeah, um, this is this impressive love. So you can see a lot of color and the texture and then to express my stories. It's a 10 years long distance love story. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, we always long distance. So yeah, I want to tell this story long time. What did winning the Beer of China Prize mean for you as an opportunity? It's really important prize for me. It encouraged me to have uh, my own brand. Yeah, I have a lot of support, not just the not just the award, and from lots of people. Yeah. Tell us about what having a global platform has meant for you. I met a lot of amazing people, yeah, like um, from tomorrow, from uh, Selfage, like last... Selfages. Selfages, yeah. yeah. Like last night, yeah. He asked me, oh, if you want to sell your clothes in Selfage, I said, of course. Yeah. And I might have a window display. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Thank you for coming. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's very, very beautiful. Exciting times ahead. Really nice thank to meet you. you. So Where do you want to take things from here? What are you going to do next? I feel like I still need two years to have build up the, the branding things. I think it's more important to keep talking about this, my story and then also open my uh, marketing part. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like this season I need to, I want to fly to Paris to try to get more feedback from buyers. Yeah. Well, we're very proud of you, Caroline. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank Give you. me a hug. Yeah. All right. If you're interested in applying for the next BOF China Prize, please look at the application details on the BOF website. We want to find you wherever you are in the world if you're a Chinese national, demonstrating real creative and business potential to create a massive and successful fashion business. So we're looking for your applications. You can find us at businessoffashion.com.